and um came to find out he had a girlfriend but at this point he thinks i know so i'm like hold on i need to act like i know because clearly you think i know so i'm like yeah well i want you to tell i want you to tell me oh you can tell her that i've reached out to you but now you can't return my call so then i deeped my life and i said i was deciding hi guys and welcome back to my channel i need to think of a name to call you guys I won't do it right now because it's going to take too much thinking. <laughs> um, but yeah, today I'm going to do a story time. I don't do story times. I'm really bloody nervous right now, but I'm going to do it. Oh, God. <laughs> okay, so this story actually happened. Actually, I won't say when because, yeah, yep, yeah, not going to do that. <laughs> but um, yeah, so basically, I'm just going to tell you guys about something that happened in my life that, um, which, you know, it was a, it was a good thing. No sounds really bad now it was a bad thing but a good thing right so let me explain so i was dating somebody treated me real good take me to the nicest restaurants making me get to dress up you know when your mom your new mom and you go back on the dating scene it's like oh my god i'm actually doing this and like you just want any excuse to just go out so it was so lovely to be like on my way home from work and he'd be like get ready we're gonna do this or this weekend we're gonna go to here it was like oh my god can't wait so the whole way i'm just like oh oh like i don't know i'm putting hunter to bed and he's crying and i'm just thinking normally i'm thinking oh i'm so tired today but i'm thinking mommy's going out tonight mommy's going out tonight like and you're just nothing's really phasing you he's sleeping so just for i chuck on him um nothing ain't really phasing you too tough because really and truly you're just like i'm going out I'm getting treated good was going out here there everywhere for drinks dinners just you know as a mom you want to stress that gonna look nice anyway this went on for a couple of months and um came to find out he had a girlfriend <laughs> and i was like hold on a minute let me tell you how i found out now so okay i get a message from him like and that's the thing it's so funny because i did a video on red flags literally around this time it was happening and basically i felt like how am i doing a video on red flags and i didn't see this you are stupid but basically the person would call me every day i mean morning lunch tea dinner whatever calling every second there was never no boundary that he had put on me like don't call me past this time or you know like they normally come up with these weird like weird things of why you can't call them past this time and that time never got that it was just like call me whenever you want and um <laughs> i'm just sitting here thinking oh, i really gonna actually upload this i'm really gonna do this but um anyway going back so yeah got to a point now where maybe one whole day i can't get hold and because i was studying working got my child i don't really have time to be calling so it was more a one-way thing with a cold calling thing i would kind of call when i can but it was like a not a regular thing at the time because i'm studying i'm raising my child whatever the case may be so this one day i finished uni early i didn't have to work that day everything's handed in hunter's being picked up i'm thinking yo let me call my my friend Oh no, Mickey, I hear. So I'm like, okay, okay, like I can't, I can't hear. So, okay, okay, cool, call back, call, call back. No, I call again. The phone's off the whole entire day. Nobody has their phone off the whole entire day. So I'm like, okay, maybe something happened. It was never excuses. Like we'd always go out, but I mean, there was always something going on. So hence why when he didn't answer the phone, it was like, oh yeah, the madness, this happened, da 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 da. And I was just like, okay, cool. Like these things happen, I ain't swearing it, it's cool, blah, blah. And he would always be like, oh yeah, but anyway, do you want to go out tonight? Do you want to do this? So I never really wanted to stress the fact of you didn't answer your phone because I just want to go out and have a good time. Okay. So um, anyway, um, so yes, what actually happened, how I found out? Eventually, I get a message from him yo i haven't been honest with you i know you already know and i'm like 
Hold on a minute. <laughs> no, what? So he's like... I know that you've already found out. I'm so sorry. Like, I, did, I shouldn't have done this to you. And I'm thinking, still not clocking. Like, what are you talking about? But at this point, he thinks I know. So I'm like, hold on, I need to act like I know. Because clearly you think I know. So I'm like, yeah, well, I want you to tell me. I want you to tell me. Really, I don't know what the hell I want him to tell me. I mean, I know <laughs> what I meant to know. So it's like, basically, I got a girlfriend. And I've had a girlfriend this whole entire time. It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. So I'm like, all right, well, can you phone me? Because I'm just thinking, I want to know. There's things I want to ask. Like, this ain't, this ain't going to work. You need to phone me. No, I'm not phoning you. Sorry? Yeah, no, 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 I'm not phoning you. Like, I, I can't. I'm, I feel too bad. I'm a bad person. I am so bad. And I'm like, okay, we've established this. So now can you call me? No, no, no. So I'm like, I'm not mad. Like, just phone me. Because I just really want to have this conversation, innit? So, anyway, he's like, oh, like, I can't, I can't, I can't. So now I'm getting pissed off because, hold on a minute, what? So are you telling me you're just not going to chat to me again? You're just going to lock me off and then, well, I don't understand. So I'm sitting there fuming and I've called my friend like, oh, my God. Imagine that I just had a girl the whole time. Then another thing that literally just popped in my head as I stopped recording, I had to just go back and fit this in. We was meeting up four or five days in the week i mean i had to call my guy friends that were just friends <coughs> just friends and um say some like what is this like what kind of situation is this and even they would be like no no we got a girlfriend and then when i told them he had a girlfriend they were like are you sure i don't even know if you're deciding or if i'm confused like, like they were literally like i've never heard of this they were like i've got side things and i buck her like once a month twice if she's lucky you get what i mean so i was like so was i excited made me feel a bit better but then i'm just like i don't understand like how did he have so much time to come take me out three four days in the week sometimes that's just the week monday to friday and then weekend as well like baffled baffled planning to do like getaways planning planning to go on holiday and i know probably if he watched this he'd be thinking yeah i was disgusting you was disgusting bro at the end of the day even if the holidays and all that was just saying like i just couldn't understand how he had so much time so i just thought i'd just add that little bit in and um also he'd be like oh yeah like oh it's late there's nothing cat like say like if we both finished work late or whatever the situation may be like not work but like say if there was a situation that we wanted to go out but like everything was kind of shut he'd be like oh my god why don't you just come over like come to mine we're really quite far sometimes i'm like i'm tired i can't bother to drive he'd be like oh my god come to my mum's <laughs> so there was no indication like literally i spoke to like so many pe different people about it and they were just like so confused i was just like well this is not just me because i was starting to think am i crazy like am i not picking up the red flags i'm confused i think half of me was just so enjoying the ride that i wasn't really paying attention but even when i'm telling the story back i still can't see the clue can you <laughs> so um i thought i'd just add that be in there because mm -hmm. I'm like, if only I knew this girl because I want to tell her this and I want to tell her that. Anyway, I go on Instagram, I see a message. I think the girlfriend was like, hello, um, hi, I think you've been seeing my boyfriend slash the father of my child. Sorry, what? <laughs> so I'm like, hold on a minute. I know I said I went to another girl, but damn. So I'm like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God oh my god so i'm like all right you gotta be a woman just gotta be real obviously told her like what she needs to know i'm like yeah didn't have no clue what's going on dates blah, 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 whatever the case may be two twos <laughs> um she's like well thank you for telling me like she was real nice real mature real cool about the whole situation whatever the case may be and um yeah at this point i'm just sitting there like Am I allowed to be hurt? Because he wasn't really my man, but we speak every day. Like, there wasn't really a day we didn't speak. And if we didn't, it was more because I was too tired. Or it was more me kind of thing. So I'm just sitting there like, because I had never been in these kind of positions before. <sighs> so 
so the next day i'm fuming but i'm like i still want to chat to him because i have a couple questions like why did you start this did you like me like was this a game to you like i have questions in it he's not becoming a fan so i'm thinking hold on a minute you done something wrong to me and now you feel so bad that you can't chat to me but i'm telling you i'm cool so what's the problem anyway i've said to everything can you say to the girl I've blocked her now on about my day get a snapchat message why did you block me then i realized that she didn't add me so i'm like but so that means you've had me this whole time so i've obviously had a conversation with her and i'm saying to her like what's going on like i don't understand she's like oh like obviously i didn't know if it was him why you blocked me blah blah and i'm just like why is this still going on like i just want this to be done so i'm like no to be fair i haven't actually spoken to him whatever the case may be she's like oh well, did you reach out to him he said you did and i'm thinking oh you can tell her that i reached out to you but now you can't tell my call so uh, i'm like yeah i did because i'm not gonna lie i feel he owes me like not an explanation but to an extent he needs to have a conversation with me like i don't really understand la, la. she's totally cool once again she's like no 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 i completely get it da, da. and um we left it at that i wish her the best in life like obviously we're both mums i can relate to her in that way so i was like you know i wish you the best if you look get back or you don't i wish you happiness and i hope god blesses you and your family and whatever the case may be kept it moving eventually i spoke to this guy and he's just like oh do you know what i had no right getting angry at you like obviously i was just in a bad place as per usual and he's just like yeah i'm sorry i'm just gonna welcome myself and i'm like okay cool and i'm half still sitting there like so we can't be friends like i kind of like the treatment but i'm thinking no nah, but really and truly he's been bad like to a girl then i just basically long story short got myself together after like two days i was like no nah, this can't run and i was just like you know what you do need to get yourself together whatever the case may be pissed at the same time like i half was so annoyed because i was just like i still think you're a cool guy but you actually are a dickhead at the same time because what you've done to her and also you've kind of played me but then i'm thinking but i got treated good but i'm thinking but you were deceitful like you was a liar like there's just so much some confusion then i deeped my life and i said i was deciding i don't do deciding i am the main thing or nothing <laughs> So that's when I said, no, 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 this can't run. This can't run. <laughs> and, um, yeah, it's difficult. I don't know about you other girls that might have been a side thing or didn't know he was a side thing. But when you find out, you're just left confused. You're kind of half, well, I felt kind of confused. I was kind of hurt. I was kind of pissed. I was kind of annoyed. And I was half like, why did you have to do this? Then I was half like, why did you come in my life? Because I was actually fine. But, the good thing which is why i told you guys this story in the first place was because as much as he was bad mind and what he did to his girlfriend was despicable and disgusting i kept questioning why god brought him to me like why did you bring him into my life like yeah he was treating me nice but why i'd rather have not got that treatment if it was just going to end like that but do you know what when i told you he we had such a nice relationship we laughed every second would be in the car singing songs together he brought me into a happiness that i hadn't been literally since i've had my son it's just been my son my son my son i haven't really had that me time or felt like a all man <laughs> but one thing he did do like like i said he took me to nice places and um like willing to spend money willing to give money willing to buy hunter stuff like obviously i said no because the type of person i am i just need to know you're legit before you're spending money and i don't really want you to be spending on my child like i can do that his parents can do that you know um but it was a lovely gesture and whatever you can spend money on me then i'm like <laughs> <laughs> um anyway i say that to say this he has set the bar really high so like now when guys want to take me out or the way they're approaching me i'm thinking <laughs> hold on a minute like now i can just see the trash real quick you're not coming on my phone talking about oh yeah like we can come chill in the car eh, eh. let's go i don't know chew up mine eh, eh. take me out treat me nice take me nice places like make me feel special and i'm not a kind of girl 
because I don't want to be perceived in a way like I only like them kind of things but I like to be treated nice I like to be taken to nice places and I also treat nice too um anyone that I date been out with I'm a good girlfriend I'm a good well I don't know what I was to this guy but <laughs> I I'm very good company and so uh yeah and I spend like once I pop up have feelings and i'm either we feel whatever the case may be i will spend money on you as well it's not like a one-way thing please don't get it twisted but um yeah i felt or i feel kind of like he set the bar a little bit higher for these new guys and now these new guys can't be coming and come with these little foolishness about chilling or netflix or whatever he's raised the bar a little bit so i don't know if god was re-reminding me of my self-worth and reminding me that yes you're worth this look if he would do it even though he was trash <laughs> oh well that's hate being horrible even though he was deceitful and the way he went about it was completely wrong it re-reminded me of my self-worth it it reminded me that yeah this is how i used to get treated and this is how i will continue to get treated with or without a child because i still look the same i ain't no tree monster i might not be 10 10 but I am decent, you know. <laughs> so um, that's my first story time. Yeah. <laughs> I hope I don't get too much backlash because I know with YouTube it's all mad out here. And men out there that do this. Disgusting. Because what, what, the, the, what the reality is, is that with when you're the side thing, although I claim myself to be that I was dating this person that had a girlfriend <laughs> and I didn't know. Um is that you've now allowed me to i didn't really get in my feelings deep but i did essentially really like him and i enjoyed his company and like you know like when he would call I'd be like oh whatever the case may be and i was like literally every day i was getting dressed up people were like oh my god where are you going i was like mm, for drinks mm, mm, mm. i've lost my train of thought <sighs> completely gone but yeah for guys like him well, guys that do these kind of things it's hard for the girl like that was me in that position it's hard for the main girl obviously because you were like you cheated on me and that is cheating is the worst thing to get over like it's horrible and especially when you've got a child and you want it to work with that person it's 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 even more of a disrespect because when you're not with that person as much it hurts it's like cool we can go our separate ways when you've got a child and you've got to still talk to that person mm -mm. You don't want to chat to them even if it's about a child you don't and that's the truth of it and now they're hurting while they're raising and that's the worst because you want to be in love with that child and give that child what they need but you're you're hurt you can't love to the best of your ability and be the best mom when you're hurting and this is why i think guys like that that's where you're wrong and the one thing i always said to him is why don't you work with the mother of your child like i wish that you know me and my baby father the father of my child hates him baby father ugh, could have worked out unfortunately it didn't and it won't but i always used to say just try like we could be friends like i love your company and i'll be there for you and he was like nah 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 so i'm just like why you do this and now i like you miss that treatment miss everything and i'm here sitting there like okay guess i'll just keep it moving but i always say to people if i moved on from the father of my child who i was expecting to marry and create more life with i can move on from anybody so i'll be fine boo boo <laughs> that is the end of my study time so um yeah give it a thumbs up if you <laughs> liked my video the story times are a bit mad but um yeah if you want more of them comment down below and i'll be sure to give you a little bit more i hate doing story times hence why i've never really done them because i don't want to do one about like a real life situation and then people start at me and i'm like oh my god or um I don't know if I do one about friends and then I go to someone and they're like, well, why would you talking about me in your vlogs if you don't care? Blah, 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 blah. So I hate doing it, but I might start doing it because I'm a very good storyteller. But anyway, I shall go. See you guys later. Make sure to like, subscribe, comment, all of that jazz. Anyway, big up myself. 100 subscribers. But, 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 but. Okay, I know it might not seem like a lot to you guys, but it took a long time for me to get here. But 2020, hopefully... I would say 200 but i really want 500 let's do 500 guys come on share this video give me a thumbs up keep talking about me anyone that wants to do collabs at me at me at me and follow me on my socials <laughs> anyway i'm going guys because i'm getting way too good Bye.